How are you doing? My name is Anthony Panagakos. I'm the offense coordinator at Portland High School in Staten Island, New York. Today we're going to talk about the Sling T play action and bubble screen game. The philosophy between this game is the same as in the run game, where we use deception, try to show a defense one direction, and pull the ball out and go in the other. <clears throat> play action passes are a young quarterback's best friend. It's a lot easier uh, to complete. We usually draw the defense in and throw the ball over the top of them. But when we get to the bubble screen game, it's on the same, same theory. We'll throw the bubble, throw the bubble, throw the bubble, and then run the counter play behind it for the home run. So the big arm quarterback, again, is not necessary. Okay, first let's take a look at the sling T waggle. The waggle play is going to complete the package of the sweep trap series. This is the third and final play in that package where we're going to try to draw a defense all to the right and bring the quarterback back to the left. So we're going to first take a look at waggle left. We're going to draw it against a 4-4 defense, which is of course what we see mostly. When we get to the film, you'll see a little of a 3-5-3 and some 4-3 uh, defenses. First, we're going to start with the action. The H-back is going to uh, leave one count ahead of the, of the snap in round motion, just like it would on the sweep or on the trap. Fullback has the midline still, and he's going to protect the backside A gap, which in this case is going to be the front side A gap, and hold. Against a 4 4 team, we do not release our fullback. Some guys like taking the fullback, put him in the flats. We want our fullback to have a great fake. I want him to be tackled, and 9 out of 10 times, he's going to end up hit running to somebody right here. Great fake here. Quarterback, same exact steps. He's going to be off the midline again. Again, keep everything uniform, everything simple. I don't want any confusion on which play do I do what. Spin opposite the hole. <clears throat> He's actually opening to the hole this time. With good shoulders, parallel to the line of scrimmage, ball in his belly where defense doesn't see it. He's going to take his three steps, wait for the H-back to pass him. Now the H-back is going to get to about the guard area, and he's going to set up to block. He's a backside protection for the quarterback. The quarterback is going to take that, still take that baseball look. He's going to take one extra step, and he's going to hold the ball down. He's going to try to hide that ball from this defensive end. And he's going to take the baseball pickoff move and watch that defensive end. Defensive ends are usually trained from week to week what they want to do. If the defensive end wants to go up, my quarterback knows that I'm not going to get to the edge. If the defensive end wants to crash in, the quarterback knows on this pickoff move, and this is all happening in a matter of seconds, on the pickoff move, if he sees that end crash in, he knows I have the outside, I have the options. Let's draw it up against a crash again first. So now we did our base off pickoff move, and we're going to stop that right there. We'll go over the line. The tight end. Since the play action pass, we're going to sell the run first. So he's going to actually take a step down first, like he would normally in a sweep or a trap. Then he's going to get to 10 yards. Straight get to 10 yards first. Do not come across the field yet. Get 10 yards and then come directly across the field. His rule is he must stay two yards behind the quarterback. Where the quarterback is, he wants to be two yards behind him. We'll get to that because if the quarterback has to stop and look, we don't want to overrun our quarterback. We still want him in the sights of the quarterback. His rule is two yards behind 